much. New tonight, a panel put together by Mayor Marty Walsh has an ambitious plan to cut carbon emissions, including tacking a fee onto some car trips. The mayor wants the city to be carbon free by 2050. And cutting the number of cars on the road is a major push in that direction. WBZ's Louisa Muller shows us how the Walsh and his administration plan to put this plan to fight climate change into action. Cars crawling behind other cars, parking space after parking space cramped. Traffic has become part of the Boston experience. Climate change is not just about saving the polar bears up in the North Pole, it's also about the people here in the city. But Mike Walsh and a team of researchers commissioned by the city hope this picture will soon change drastically. They released a study suggesting how Boston can be carbon free by 2050. Maximizing energy efficiency and reducing uh, personal use of uh, personal vehicles um, and then electrifying as much as we can. And it includes a congestion tax, a $5 fee for every trip made in a private car to the busiest parts of the city, plus a $5 parking fee. It is one of many tools that the city could use as part of this toolkit. But critics say it already costs way too much to come to Boston. Meters and garages will set you back, and the average cost of rent, according to some studies, close to $3,000 a month. I'm not in favor of, of, of charging people $5 to come into the city of Boston. But Mayor Walsh says he could get behind a ride-sharing fee. To add a dollar to the ride for individual rides. Now the city and the people who commute here can weigh the options. Pay a fee now or potentially pay the price later. I think fundamentally it's probably a good idea. I think there's enough pain driving into the city. In Boston, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.